What is up, YouTube friends? I know it's crazy. This is like two days in a row, and I'm, I've filmed videos two days in a row. What in the world's going on here? I don't know. I tell you what's going on is that snow that I said we might be getting. Oh, yeah, we got it. We got a fresh, like, four, four to six inches here. And uh, today's going to be an adventure. I got a couple jobs I got to get done. I'm going to knock those out. I'll show you what they are. Uh, when we get going, it's windy, it's cold. I don't know why I didn't put a jacket on, but uh, here we go. We have, we have officially found success on the snow day. Hang on, let me show you. Bam! Daylight donuts, baby. Gotta have donuts when it's cold outside. Kurt, I just want y'all to know. <coughs> edit that out uh, anyway for the record Bavarian cream chocolate covered it's the best donut it's the only way to go oh yeah Just like that, only took like 10 minutes. Got her cleaned up. For those of you that don't know, my 17 year old, we call him Dayton. <laughs> Cause that's his name. He knows where everything's at. I just went inside, I'm like, babe, don't we have salt for ice cream? He said, no, we've got ice melt salt. Took me right to the spot. There it is. Sure enough, whole bag of it. Boom, driveway's done. On to the next one. What's up? Well, you know, it's, uh... It's just me sitting out here in my garage. I have a question. You guys have puppies? We've got a little French Bulldog puppy. We had a French Bulldog once upon a time before. He got out and uh, unfortunately got out in the road. He got run over. It was, it was really, a, honestly, a terribly sad deal. And our family has wanted another one ever since. So. Right at about two weeks ago, we uh, got ourselves another French Bulldog. His name's Bowser. I'll introduce you to him here in a little bit. He's in a little bit of trouble right now. Because, well, you see, we're going through the whole crate training phase and uh, lost the little center section divider for his crate. So I had the brilliant idea that I would uh, pile up some of my tool cases in the back, put a uh, one by six in the front, clamped it down. Michelle and I went on our little adventure. And uh, well, let's just say our little friend figured out that he could climb over the one by six. And in so doing, figured out that he could get up on top of the tool cases. And somewhere along all of that, figured out that it's a lot warmer in that crate to do his business, if you know what I'm saying, than it is outside in the snow. So, nothing like potty training a puppy in the coldest temperatures Oklahoma has experienced in a long time. I gotta be honest with you. I'm not really sure that I'd wanna be going to the bathroom outside right now either, so. Both of the two strokes out. Dayton's on mine. Caden's on his. Caden's having a bit of a hard time. He's like, yeah, there he goes. I don't know. We may blow these things up in the snow today. I don't know, but hey, we're having fun doing it. Yeah. 
doesn't understand that he's got to shift gear. There he goes. One thing's for sure, we ain't about to have no pretty snow around here anymore. <laughs> Two jobs that are going to be required to uh, complete today. One of them is, I've got to create some sort of divider for the dog in the dog crate. So we're going to do that. I'm going to do that here in just a second. The other one is, I got to fix these outlets. And I'm going to show you a quick, easy, safe way to change out an outlet in your old farmhouse. This is the old outlets. There's one there. And there's another one right there. Those are the old round outlets. And we're going to everything square like that. So let me gather up some tools and I'm going to get this done real quick. First thing to do anytime you work with electricity is make sure you turn off the circuit. So I'm going to run back there in the back to the breaker panel and I'm gonna have Caden sit right here and tell me when I turn the light off. Okay, I am at the breaker panel. Let me know when it turns off, okay? Oh. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Off. That's it? Yep. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is take the old one out. We verified that the uh, power is now shut off. Pull your outlet out. Way too much wire on this one, but that's all right. We'll make it work. And what you're going to notice on any outlet, this one is an older outlet, so you've got your black wire on actually black screws, white wire on silver screws. When I get the new outlet out, I'll show you what that one looks like. So take this, take these wires off. <laughs> Good pair of needle nose. Always a tool of choice when dealing with electrical stuff. Eh. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, so new outlets we're going with are the square. This house doesn't have ground wires and all of the uh, stuff, so I know you guys are going to comment, where's the ground wire? Well, there aren't any in this house. Uh, almost anywhere. So. On the newer stuff, you're going to have gold colored uh, screws. That's going to be your black, or in this case, your hot. Then you have the silver colored screws, which is your neutral. Ground would go down here. Um, by hospital code and uh, some other areas, outlets are actually supposed to be mounted what we would consider generally to be upside down. Reason for that, if a kid comes along, sticks something behind a plug, it hits the ground and then would arc across that way and would not electrocute the kid. The old school way, this way, something goes behind it, and the kid gets electrocuted. Dead babies aren't cool. So, uh, yeah. So these have the little deal where you can just stick the wires in there, but whoever did this used wires that are too big. So I get the uh, fun task of trying to figure out if I can get this to curl up and wrap around the curtain. I like to uh, go ahead and pinch that wire down if I can get a hold of it. Just so that when I tighten it up, oh, it's good and tight. Okay, same deal here. Roll this one over. That. Now for the fun part, trying to get all of this, you just shove that back in there, and then you gotta get these guys lined up with those little holes there. Get okay on that one. And because, you know, the uh, professional carpenter that we hired to do this job did such a great job of cutting out the uh, openings they don't fit right and so we get to kind of mess with the openings not looking right and that's my fault it's if these openings were cut the right size the other half of this outlet would catch on it 
and we wouldn't have any of the problems of which I just described. In all honesty, this is not that hard to do. Anybody can do it. And because I cut it so well, I'm gonna to get to go back to the store now and buy a bigger plate, but you get the idea. That's one outlet done and uh, one mo to go. This is all the same, so we're just gonna speed it up. And just like that, we're done. And, and for the super studious among us, that outlet over there, yeah, I know. I went on this big rant about how to put it in upside down by the new code, and then I did it backwards. So I'll fix that one later. But you know, it is changed out. Let's go see if they work. Okay, you ready? Yep. On. On. Yep. Did it work? Yep. Woo! All right, last job of the day. Make a doggy divider for the crate. All right, so that's it. Job's done for the day. Got the dog crate split up. Got the uh, electrical outlets finished. That means this room that I'm standing in right here is 90, oh, I just saw it in the background. 95% done and then this room is remodeled. Be the first room of the house that's complete. Anyway, tomorrow I'm gonna walk through the house and I'm gonna show you a lot of the remodel plans so that you can kind of see where we're going with this farmhouse. I'll even throw in some pictures of what this thing looked like when we first bought it because we have done a ton already and it still doesn't look like it. So I want you to know what it looked like when we first got here so at least you'll understand why it still looks the way that it does after three years of being here. Anyway, tune in tomorrow and uh, we'll see you then.